Look at T. Yes. Get off that goddamn phone <laughs> and pay attention to your men. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> how many times I got to tell you? See, one thing uh, that y'all can't do, I know how to multitask, so I can do the phone and pay attention to you. I can do a whole what lot more than that. You can hit the, and then, Hey, uh, hey, hey. Uh, so we need another one. one. <laughs> <laughs> We need the hey YouTube. <laughs> hey YouTube, I know I just said this about ten seconds ago. We respect the community. We love the community, and we respect the guidelines. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't even think it started, man. Um, video number one. Video number one. At Nina does the most is giving tips on how to score beautiful women in three easy steps, man. Okay, Nina. Nina. It said Nina Capone. I'd be out some more in the microphone. I don't yeah. know. I can't rap, man. But who knows, man? <laughs> but uh, I said, Peanut, kick this off. It's, it's this drum podcast. Aww. Let's go. So it has come to my attention that the reason why many men are not dating anymore is because they've simply lost the art of courting. So I'm not a man. But I know what I like as a woman. So I'm going to teach you guys in three easy steps how to get a woman like me from the restaurant to the bedroom. Three easy steps. Step one, have a plan. So don't what you doing. Don't are you free? Mm -mm. Because that tells me you're trying to test the waters. You know, I like a man who assumes the sale. This woman's going to be mine. So we go in with a plan. Are you free this day at this time for this activity? That way you can get a yes or a no. Very simple. And the logistics are already kind of set. So your feelings don't get hurt and you're not dragging that shit out over text message. Are you free at six on Friday for mini golf? I would love to do that with you. And I would say if I like the guy, yes, absolutely. I want to do more than mini golf. But if I don't like the guy, no. Then the guy can take that same approach and just keep on going down the line. It's a numbers game for you guys, you know. If you're going to be the man, you got to approach. Why? Because then now we're going to be in a matriarch. If you don't want to approach now, women get all the power. And you don't want to give that up. Y'all want to keep in power, so you're going to have to do the hard stuff. Approach. Don't be afraid to get rejected. Now, step two, after you have that yes or no, then you're going to take her out. You're going to arrange her transportation, either go and get her or arrange her uber boom be a gentleman do all the gentlemanly stuff now here's where it gets good because if she likes you she's gonna give you a sign your question the cue is so should we call it a night or do you want to get into some more adventures that's gonna tell you everything you need to know call it a night i don't want to sleep with you Mm, I might have to go to work. I feel lukewarm. Maybe we need a second date, but maybe not. More adventures, I'm a thousand percent into you, okay? See how there's clear delineation? We're into it, we're not into it. Simple question and you don't gotta have your ego hurt. Y'all just don't know how to communicate and how to do the courting process. Again, if she don't wanna see you, now you do mini golf with the next bitch. Simple. I was gonna say step three, but I don't even know if there is a step three. So there it is. How to get a woman like me in a few easy steps. Oh. I will say, have some money, don't be broke, obviously, because men that have stability in their lives are more nice. Broke men are very mean, and they put you in harm's way. And then also put that shit on. Smell good, look good, like really present well, because the woman is putting her eyebrows on. She getting lash extensions and her coochie wax for you. So make sure you put that shit on so it's equal effort. Intentionality is so important. I can't stand a man who only wants a convenient bitch, convenient date, convenient experience. I love a man who loves intentionality. So that's how you get a woman like me. Can I, can I go first real quick? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. yeah, I, yeah, if yeah, if y'all can't see the comments, uh, shout out to L Boogie. He said, I can't get past the camel. I, can't, I don't know if I can say that on YouTube. I think but, you can't say camel okay, toe. Camel toe. <laughs> L Boogie, I'm right. I'm right with you, my man. <laughs> I, I've watched this video a couple times. I don't know what she said. I don't. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Los. I, I mean, li listen. Uh, you know what? All I'm gonna say is she what? was hitting on some points. T, she was hitting on some points. Okay. T. I don't know. What you know what I mean, said. but it it was hard to concentrate on what she was saying. Yeah, I because she was sitting there with her legs cocked wide open. And her JJ was saying, yeah, hey, I mean, hey. yeah, you know I mean, and I swear to God, I thought the JJ lips was moving while she was talking, <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was I was delirious or something. Oh step goodness, one, whatever gracious. step one was, I have no clue what step one was. I couldn't repeat it if I tried. I was not focused on step one. I, she she should have sat different or laid down or something. Yeah, I don't know. You know, like damn. Uh, 
T. So it's, it's T. called marketing. And so obviously. Is that what oh, she marketed. Obviously, she wanted y'all attention. She got it. So Not therefore, the she won. But from a female's perspective, I Please, do believe it. that the position of the way she's sitting could have been changed because yeah. or, or shall I say not even the way she's sitting where the camera is that's the issue is is where the camera is the camera is obviously on the floor right in front of her so let's just say she had it up further you wouldn't even know that she was sitting that way let me go ahead no. and sit like that let me, let me sit oh shit oh, wait, a minute. wait a minute hold on Hold on, hey. We're trying but to stay there. in the guidelines. It's the third time in five minutes. But I mean, from a, like I said, from a from a from a woman's perspective, she did. She definitely had some good points. Even though I know y'all didn't hear a guy dag on thing. Did you hear but, step one? Can you can you repeat step one? Because I really don't remember. What difference does it make? Oh, okay. <laughs> and I, you know, so I mean, she's saying basically be intentional. Be intentional yeah. when y'all want to date. Stop. Stop dating for convenience. You know how y'all do. Y'all do convenience, whether no. it's... I'm speaking but, about men. Oh, okay. 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 I mean, sometimes, you know, I have dated for convenience. So, I guess it depends on the person that, you, that you're dating. So, yeah. yeah. So, if you're dating a person, a female, and she's just dating you just to get out, and you just trying to get out, hey, that's different. But if you're dating a woman and she has some type of expectations, even though I don't think that's a good thing for anybody, don't go out with any type of expectations because you just never know what's going to happen. Like, you know, so, but basically... To summarize, since y'all didn't hear a dang thing, yeah, listen, yeah, looking was, at her camel toe. It was, it was tough. <laughs> it was rough going. It was, it was rough, T. <laughs> so she was just basically, you know, just, you know, speaking a lot of things that a lot of women, you know, um, that we think about. Like, okay, guys, yeah. what, the, what you doing? And the, you know, like, okay, don't just, hey. But, but T, but T, let, let me, let me come back on you. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, let me hear. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let me come back on you. Let me come back to you, <laughs> not on you. But I mean, a man. I mean, some men they need to know. That we trying to fill you out, so we need to know. Like, hey, listen. Um, you, you know, I mean, we hitting you with the what you doing because we don't want to assume that you know. What I mean, you got other plans. We want you know. What I mean, because if you tell a woman, hey, hey, listen, Friday night, me, you, the restaurant, my crib. <laughs> so basically what booty she climbing. said no, you know so man, basically, like, excuse me <laughs> you know what I mean? excuse me so what she's saying is a difference between how I guess a grown man with intention is speaking to you compared to a a, 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 a boy but 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 so you have so you have guys that text yo what you doing whereas though a man a grown man that's serious Hey, you know, young lady, or however you know, however they want to present you. Hey, queen, you know, I get that a lot. Hey, queen, how the are queen. you today? You know, blah blah blah. blah. You know, I was, how was your day? You know, yeah. so get into the the pleasantries first, and then oh, okay, well, you know what? What's your plans like on Thursday? You want to go out I, it's, as opposed to yo? What you doing? Can I interject? Yeah, please. Real quick, the only thing I didn't agree with is like I do under I do get the hey, what you doing? Yeah, that might be weird, but. She was saying like Friday, six o'clock, this or that. And the only reason I don't fully agree with that is because if a woman says, if I say Friday, six o'clock restaurant and she says no, then am I supposed to follow up Tuesday, nine o'clock? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, so Thursday. I, I get like, that. So. It's like, bro, that's why I'm asking, are you free? Because I want you to tell me, yeah, I'm free on yeah, you know, Tuesdays and Thursdays at blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Then I can plan from there. But if I just give you a straight date and time and you might you might not be free because you just not. Right. You say no. Yeah. And then I come back. And I like how many times I got to do that before you say, hey, you know what? Friday, I'm free. Why do I why do all of that when you when I could just say, are you free? And you could just tell me today and then I can go from there and plan it. I just think that was the only part I was like, who wants to do that? Like, yeah. Friday, Tuesday, yeah. next Thursday, the 13th, yeah. the 19th. That, like, <laughs> no, I don't want to do all that. That's just way but, too much. You know what I mean? I, I, I get think, that part. Yeah, I agree yeah. with you on that part. Because my thing is, it's like, let's negotiate on our time. Right. Because, okay, let's just say I get off of work at 5 o'clock, but you may get off at 3. So, yeah, of course, it's 6 o'clock is not going to be good for me because I might just be getting home at 6 o'clock. I want to freshen up, take a shower, yeah. change my clothes. So, yeah, you know, I get that part. But, I mean, I think, let me, let me add, I mean, it becomes easier when you know the woman like you because if the woman like you then you could be like friday six o'clock me and you we going to the restaurant 
You know what I mean? Hookah lounge afterwards. We going blase, blah, dancing, whatever, 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 whatever. That becomes more easier, but you have to know that the woman like it. Exactly. Yeah, so, I mean, it's always a little difficult, I guess, with the first date. So, you know, yeah. with the first date, like, after y'all go out a couple times, yeah, oh, yeah. You, can, you can feel the situation, and, you know, and the vibe a little different. Or, exactly. or or even if off the, the first couple of conversations, if I feel like I got to interview you, hey, what you like? What you doing? Like, if it don't come natural to me as a man, it's gonna be like, oh, she not feeling me because I gotta ask her everything just everything. for her to for her to just have conversation with me. Where if it's just a flowing conversation where we laughing, we joking, we talking about whatever, then it's like, all right, cool. Then I feel I feel more comfortable going this way. But them, those conversations where it's like you say something, and she like, huh, yeah, <laughs> like, oh damn, she must don't like me. And, and then and sometimes men like to be. I like to men like to be courted too. Or for me, I, you don't have to court me, but it, just let me know you like me. I'm not saying yeah. you gotta fall head over heels for me, but let me know that my conversation, my you know, my energy, my personality, you feeling, and then that'll make me go to the next level. But if it's very like the you ain't start talking to me until I say, all right, so you want to go to dinner? Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, oh, you oh, hungry? Man, That's what it is. Oh, you you're, you're yeah. starving. That's what, you were just waiting for that invitation. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You're, we're not you're, going nowhere. Your fucking stomach yeah. touching your yeah, back. Yeah, you yeah, know okay. the women. You know the women. They always love a good <laughs> a, a good dinner date. Yeah. I mean, well, T. Let me ask you before we go to the comment. T. I want to ask you, T. So when a man asks you out on a date, do you like the aggressive? Type of acts when he be like, Yo, hey, let's you go. know, me, you, dinner, uh, DMX, <laughs> uh, bite your butt, uh. oh, yeah. <laughs> or you like a man who come, hey, listen, what are you doing? Are you doing some Thursday night, Friday night? I want to take you out to dinner. You know what I mean? Show up, you know what I mean, to your house with roses and everything. Oh no, he ain't got to do all the roses thing because you know what? To me, roses signifies something different. So if we're just dating, no, you don't yeah. have to come to me with roses. Now, if you want to come with some flowers, that's different. Well, a rose, it's a difference between flowers. Yes, and roses. it's a difference between flowers and roses. But yes, you know, my thing is, is you know, I. <laughs> What's the difference? What? What's the difference between flowers so you, and roses? Okay, so you have roses. They signify uh, uh, love to an extent. Okay. okay. So whereas though flowers, they, they're they just a general basic flower. Okay, okay. But each rose, each color rose means something different too. So if people didn't know that. But um, no, you don't have to show up with the flowers. But however, I want you to be you, whoever the man is. So I'm not yeah. going to say, okay, you got to be rough or you got to be soft. I just want you to be you. Don't start off being person number one and then now you then six flip. months later you yeah. person no be you from the beginning that way I can get to figure you out and learn who you are that way I can determine okay is this what I like because don't get me to like in person A and then you end up being person B and then I'm like who the hell are you yeah. okay. Oh, okay. So I feel, I feel okay. better about myself because yeah. I you know I've been cheap from this from the rip <laughs> so I'm gonna just keep being cheap and then all right cool thank you I appreciate it <laughs> hey. thank you hey, thank you thank you for clarifying yeah. <clears throat> so shall we go to the first comment let's go so the first comment is from mr jim says if she likes you it is the key to all of this and that's the truth because you can set as many dates as you want you can be in as aggressive as you want you can be passive as you want if she don't like you she ain't going matter. out with it ain't you, gonna matter facts that's true you know facts, what i mean facts facts that's true i don't i don't i don't uh <laughs> what you didn't do did. let's hear it Goes to quite a few people. Oh, hold on, we gonna call you Casper. Now. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me get my pen ready. Ah, <laughs> yeah, I oh, what you like? <laughs> Look, it was Brandon, Michael, uh, <laughs> Kareem. <laughs> I did mix <next> off. <laughs> it was Brandon, Michael, Kareem, Latisse, <laughs> Kevin, John, <laughs> Michael, Kareem. <laughs> no, we not making that. that that's 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 a. Uh, uh, with they with these uh, uh want from a somebody let me know no <laughs> Kim Keisha Pam that's what he was saying yeah. all right so let's go to the second so the second comment is from Keith Simpson Simpson photography Chief says it's not that we lost the art we're tired of spending money endlessly speak the gospel that's Keith true. speak the gospel on it that's, that's the thing I don't want to go on fifteen dates. Where I'm spending money and and eleven of the women I don't even like them. Yeah, but see, yeah. this is my thing. 
why do you have to or let's just say when it's dating and and and, and maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm just like old school with it but to me why can't when you go on a date you split it you don't go half because okay, so the when, woman and, because, and i yeah, understand yeah, i understand yeah. the man you don't should, take your called, broke ass it's high. called chivalry right <laughs> so yes men should still be chivalrous but also at the same time a woman is, is, is so quick to say oh i'm a woman i'm grown but yeah how about you contribute to this because this costs money I mean, because it seems like the the modern age of dating now is what can I get out of yeah, it? A man, a, a man got to take you to this steakhouse. A man got to take you here. A man got to spend this money. Shit, you how know about, what I mean? If, 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 if a man can't buy me a house, I don't want to <laughs> go out with him. Ladies, how about we do this? Okay, if you want the men to really be, you know. Genuine. Show, exactly. Okay. Let, let him start off with the first date, and how about y'all pay for the second date and y'all alternate? See I how that works. I would love, boy. I say I'll like bite this. a woman on the butt. She do that. Boy. For me, if going forward, if men and women did dates that were things that where they got to know each other, no money spent. I mean, maybe yeah. little money spent, but maybe you go somewhere like women will say, "I oh, don't take me on a coffee date or whatever." I want to get to know you. Yeah. What? What does? So me taking you to Mastro's or Eddie V's versus the Cheesecake Factory. What difference is it? My whole thing is if you came here to get to know me, I came here to get to know you. The food that's in front of us, unless it was nasty, should not matter. And it doesn't always have to be a restaurant. But but I'm just saying they don't. Whatever, whatever. Like it I've is, been on dates where, I, like here in Philly, we just went down to Columbus Boulevard, Delaware Avenue, and just walked the, along the wa- along along the water and talked. I went I went on, and that is free. Pretty much, you, all you had to do was just pick me up in your car. Again, I, I did that with a young lady. We walked on. You know where the new. Like South Street, that little like bridge behind uh, Chop and all that, they building it all. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I walked back there before when it was first first open. It's like that's something where we walk and we talk and we get to know each other. Right. Uh, she bought a bottle. I bought a bottle. We sat down at one spot, took maybe a couple sips, got back up. I put the bag on my back that we had. We walked a little bit more, like stuff like that. Yeah, if it's the winter, especially in the different, summertime, yeah, something different. You might try to figure mm-hmm. out. All right, let's meet at somewhere we we could walk and talk. The movies, I don't think it should be a date because you can't really talk and get to right. know each other. But it don't have. Even if it's dinner, that's fine. But why does it have to be the best steakhouse in the city? <laughs> yeah, seven hundred dollars a plate. It's like, what is that? Okay, is that me showing you that I'm not? Cause I know a bunch of broke dudes that then took girls to the chart house, hundred fifty dollar plates, and then after they leave the the, the uh, they the, broke. They let after they left the dinner, they calling me yo bro, can you cash at me sixty eight dollars? <laughs> yeah, cause my phone bill due like three days. <laughs> that sounds like a personal problem. <laughs> <laughs> we all gotta chill. Yeah. So oh, let's go to comment number three. Comment number three is from Nick. Nick says it's a number game. It's a numbers game. Let's hurry up and get to the yes or no, because I don't want to waste my mother effing <coughs> time. Oh, excuse me. Time. Thank you, Nick. Again, it's the same thing as men. We starting to notice like, all right, I done been on all these dates. I done spent yeah, all this money. All this money. And I ain't getting nothing out of it. And we ain't even talking about sex. We just talking about a good time. It's like I'm sitting there. She's in her phone the majority of the time taking pictures of those nut ass baby hairs. And it's like, <laughs> oh, my God. She's sitting there. We're trying to have conversation with her. She's talking about, did you see Roscoe on Instagram? No, I didn't. I was at work. Like, uh, come on, like, let's have a, w- what you interested in? Oh, you know, here and there. Oh, all right, cool. What you do for a living? Oh, I'm a boss chick. Oh, <laughs> get me out of here. I don't, I'm so tired of the boss chick. What do you do? Well, I got a boutique. Oh, God. Everybody's a boss chick. Everybody got a boutique. Like, we get it. So it's like, at the yeah. end of the day, we tired of that. So we like, no. I'm trying to preserve my money for the woman that I really do like. So wait a minute, wait a minute. You against women that have a boutique? No, I'm just saying, and it's no, no. This is not no, to say that I have one, but is, I'm just asking. No, this this is no shot to the boutique owners because my one of my homies, his wife has a boutique. Shout out to them. But I'm just saying, it's always like the same. You you hear the same thing over and over, and it's like, 
All right, y'all want like, us man, to, it becomes repetitive. Yeah, y'all want us to be different, but y'all be doing all the same stuff. You got the baby hairs like everybody else. <laughs> you got the nails and yeah, you you came here listening to No Brokey by Lotto and all that. Like it's like you the same. You got you got your your um your WWE wrestling tight outfit on. Like how you about to have a match after this. So it's like, oh my God, come on, y'all. Y'all want us to be so different and out the box, and y'all all be doing the same thing. Not all, but most of y'all be looking the same, doing the same stuff. Like, I gotta chill, man. I gotta chill. Hey, this is WWE. This is WWE. <laughs> now, listen, y'all know they be having on that Andre the Giant, the one strap, the one strap, one piece. You be like, come on, come on. You're looking like you're looking like the Ultimate Warrior or something. <laughs> 